In 1988, KRS-One, one of the greatest hip-hop MCs of all time, rapped in his hit, I'm Still Number One. Rap is still an art, and no one's from the old school, because rap is still a brand new tool. Well, 34 years later, I'm here to tell you that rap, hip-hop, is no longer a brand new tool, but a well-established art form that has endured despite doubt that it would last during its genesis. This art form that started in the parks of the Bronx in New York City with two turntables, a DJ, a microphone, and an MC birthed many, many subgenres, from boom bap to West Coast, Midwest to Southern, hyphy to today's trap and drill. The first beat that I'll create in this course will be a boom bap style beat, which begs us to ask, what is boom bap? And what are the defining characteristics? Well, as I said earlier, boom bap is a subgenre of hip hop and a music production style that was prominent in the Northeast, mainly New York, during the golden era of hip hop from the late 1980s to the mid 1990s. The term boom bap originated in 1984 when hip hop pioneering MC Tila Rock used it to describe the beat of the kick and the snare in his classic song, It's Yours. As T. Rock said, Boom Bap describes the drums used in this style of beat making. The drums are usually hard hitting acoustic bass drum samples that swing and a snappy acoustic snare sample. The sound of the drums are often lo-fi due to the technology of the time. Most samplers maxed out at 12-bit 40K during the start of the golden era of hip hop. The drums are programmed to have a more humanistic feel and are not snapped tightly to the grid, which is more characteristic of modern subgenres of hip hop. Another characteristic often found in boom bap are chopped musical samples that make up the main melodic and harmonic content along with a bass line that usually follows the kick rhythm. Boom bap beats typically have a tempo between 85 and 95 beats per minute. Some notable producers of Boom Bap are Pete Rock, DJ Premier, Jay Dilla, Q-Tip, Knife Wonder, and Hip Boy, just to name a few.